Hello, my name is Doug and I am the owner operator of Electric Bike Solutions LLC. Welcome to our video tutorials and today we're going to be talking about the different kinds of electric motors that you can put on any standard bicycle. We will first start with the direct drive motor. This motor has been around for quite some time. It's the first ones that were out. You can see it's a very, fairly basic setup. You've got your coils and your magnets on the outside and that is what allows it to spin through the case and that's pretty much all it's made of. These here are called sensors which actually work with the controller on your electric bike kit to ensure the position of the motor so it can start and continue to go. However, we found in the industry that they can be a bit of a problem. So at Electric Bike Solutions, we have worked with the manufacturer to come up with a controller that actually does not need to have those sensors to know the position of the motor and run just as smoothly as it would with the sensors. So it's one less problem to worry about. At Electric Bike Solutions, we no longer carry the direct drive motor. It is a bit too heavy, it has resistance when you're just pedaling, and it's not as efficient as some of the other motors that have come out. So the industry has progressed beyond this. The next motor is our preferred motor. This is a geared motor. It is a high torque, highly efficient setup. It still has the windings inside the case as well as the magnets, but in addition to that, it has a clutch and gear assembly. And what that allows for, it allows for the motor to be more efficient, about 15% more efficient for every charge of the battery cycle. In addition, it gives you a little more torque depending on the gear ratio. And when you're not using the throttle, it will pedal as if it's a regular bike without a motor. This motor is also about two pounds lighter than the direct drive motor. The gears are made of a hard nylon, and yes, eventually they will wear out, but in nearly five years of selling them, I have not had a customer bring one to us yet that we had to actually replace the gears on. And even if we did, it is a very easy process, and the gears are only about $25 in cost. This type of motor is known as a mid-drive. It has been out on the market for a while, however it is still somewhat new compared to the others. The big advantage for it is on steep hills and mountains, etc. It utilizes all the gears of your bike and allows you to get some good climbing operation from it. However, the downside to it is that it utilizes all the gears of your bike. So it can be quite hard on the chain, derailleur, sprockets, etc. As you can see, a mid-drive setup only has one sprocket, so if you have two or three sprockets in the front, that's going to be replaced with one. You have to remove your entire crank assembly and install this, so it makes it a little bit more of a difficult install. The other thing about this in comparison to the geared motor is it's really more like a manual transmission, where the hub motor, geared hub motor, is more like an automatic transmission. The mid-drive motor is a more expensive motor and we continue to evaluate them to find the right cost performance equation. But at the current time, we find that the best performance for the dollar is coming from our high-end geared motor. For a real-life comparison of our geared motor versus the mid-drive motor, go to the link at the bottom of the screen right now and you'll see an article where I discuss a ride that I did with a person that had an $13,000 OptiBike that had a mid-drive motor and you can see how this performed against the mid-drive. It was quite remarkable the uh, difference and advantages that I had with my geared motor. In addition to the fact that the OptiBike had to shift through 14 gears as it progressed through things. So again, it's that manual transmission approach. So there you go. Those are the three main types of motors that are on the market today. If you've got any questions, please, by all means, call me, Doug, the owner, at 707-439-3179. Thank you.